Hello everyone, welcome back to asha.academy. Let me walk you through tenses part 2 and under part 2 we do have simple past tense, past continuous, past perfect and past perfect continuous. So the very first sentence is, very first tense is simple past here. When to make use of simple past here? The very first usage is to talk about completed actions in the past. And then the second usage to talk about a series of completed actions. And third usage is to talk about duration in past. And fourth usage is the previous one. Fourth usage is to talk about habits in the past. And look at the sentence structure for past tense. Verb plus ed or irregular verbs. So to talk about completed actions in the past, look at this given example. Last year, I traveled to Japan. Did you have dinner last night? Here, you do have specific time expressions. So completed actions in the past. I traveled to Japan. When did it happen? Last year. So completed action in the past here. This is the specific time expression here. And then comes the next example. A series of completed action. When you want to talk about a series of completed action, uh, action one, two, three, four, and so on. Look at this given example here. I finished work. The very first action. Walked to the lake. The second action. And found a place to swim. The third action here. So in that case, you can go for simple past tense. The next example for you, duration in past. So when you get duration in past, in that case, you can go for simple past tense. I lived in London for two years. Sarah danced at the party all day. So here, the simple past can be used with a duration which starts and stops in the past. A duration is a longer action, which often indicated by expressions such as for two years, all day, five minutes, all year, etc. Right. Then the next one, to talk about habits in the past. I studied French when I was a child. Did you play a musical instrument when you were a kid? So all these actions are habits in their past. So here, uh, the simple past can also be used to describe a habit which stopped in the past. It can have the same, uh, same meaning as used to. To make it clear that we are talking about a habit, we often add expressions such as always, often, usually, never, when I was a child, when I was younger, etc. Then comes past facts or generalizations. She was shy as a child, but now she is very outgoing. So it's a past fact. Being a, uh, being a shy child was a past fact. She is no more a shy one. She is very outgoing here. So it is similar to used to. And then comes the next example. Yes, past continuous. So to talk about interrupted action in the past, to talk about specific time as an interruption, and then when you want to discuss parallel actions and even to create an atmosphere, you can make use of past continuous tense. So here, look at this example. The very first thing is sentence structure for past continuous. Was aware plus present participle. So when do you make use of past continuous to talk about interrupted action in the past? I was watching TV when she called. I was watching TV when she called. And then the next one, what were you doing when you broke your leg? I was snowboarding. So here we use the past continuous to indicate that a longer action in the past was interrupted. What is the longer action here? Watching TV. And what is the interruption here? Her calling. She called here. So the interruption is usually a shorter action in the simple past here. It's given here in the simple past. And then the next example. 
specific time as an interruption. Last night at 8 p.m. I was eating dinner. Yesterday at this time I was sitting at my desk at work. So the past continuous is interrupted by a shorter action in the simple past. Again, the specific expression, time expression. So this is the uh, shorter action. This is considered to be interruption here. Yes, last night at 8 p.m. I was eating dinner. And then comes the next one. To talk about parallel actions. So you can go for this tense to talk about parallel actions here. That is past continuous. The example for parallel action here. I was studying while he was making dinner. Were you listening while he was talking? So when you use the past continuous with two actions in the same sentence, it expresses the idea that both actions were happening at the same time. So what are all the actions going on here? Studying and uh, preparation of dinner here. So happening at the same time. So to talk about parallel actions, you can go for past continuous. Then comes to create an atmosphere. When I walked into the office, several people were busily typing. Some were talking on the phones. The boss was yelling directions and customers were waiting to be helped. In English, we often use a series of parallel actions to describe the atmosphere at a particular uh, time in the past. And then comes repetition and irritation with always. I didn't like them because they were always complaining so here look at the usage here always you can make use of always or constantly between be form verb and verb plus ing between be form verb and verb plus ing so here it talks about negative emotion yes then comes past perfect tense when to make use of past perfect tense so to describe a duration before something in the past or to, uh, for uh, completed action before something in the past so what is the sentence structure had plus past participle so to talk about completed action before something in the past Look at this given example. When I reached the station, the train had left. I had never seen such a beautiful beach before I went to Goa. Jim knew Istanbul so well because he had visited the city several times. So here, completed action before something in the past. When I reached the station, the train had left. Who came first here? The train had left. That action happened first here. And only then he reached the station. He was laid to the station. So the action which happened first will be in past perfect tense. And the uh, action which happened later, that will be written in simple past tense. So which action happened first here? Train leaving the platform. And he reached the station late. And then comes duration before something in the past duration before something in the past here they felt bad about selling the house because they had owned it owned it for more than 40 years here so here which means that the above use of past perfect is normally limited to non-continuous verbs and non-continuous uses of mixed words mixed words here the words live, work, teach and study are sometimes used in this way even though they are not non-continuous verbs here. Then comes past perfect continuous. So when to make use of past perfect continuous and what is the sentence structure? Had been plus present participle had been plus present participle so to talk about duration before something in the past and then 
to talk about cause of something in the past. Look at this given example here. Duration before something in the past. The very first example under this heading is they had been talking for over an hour before Tony arrived. So we use the past perfect continuous to show that something in the past and con in the past and continued up until another time in the past for five minutes, for two weeks, or for over an hour are all durations which can be used with the past perfect continuous right so past perfect continuous when will you be using for actions which began before a certain point of time in the past and were in progress at that point of time and then cause of something in the past cause of something in the past james was tired because he had been running betty failed the final test because she had not been attending classes here so here to talk about cause and effect james was tired why james was tired because he had been running what was the cause here running was the cause and that's the reason why he became very tired so to talk about cause and effect yes so using the past perfect continuous before another action in the past is a good way to show cause and effect and i do believe that children you must have understood the usage of simple past tense past continuous past perfect and past perfect continuous if you do have any doubts please do type it there in the comment box and thank you thanks for listening to me patiently and please do like share and subscribe bye bye